Hey everyone, it's Mr. Enzard, and today I'm going to show you how to open and submit assignments from Schoology uh, using the app Notability. So we're going to start in our courses. Choose courses. I'm going to choose this class, Evolution. And here I see all of my week's assignments. I'm going to go ahead and go to week two, Genetics, and I'm going to choose week two, Assignment two. So I'm going to go ahead and open that up. And when I get to this screen, I see information about what I'm supposed to do uh, for this assignment, steps one, two, and three. And I see above that, view attachments. So I'm going to click on this little drop-down, view attachments. And I see two PDFs. One says two trait Punnett squares. The other one says probability and genetics presentation. So that's the keynote that uh, Mr. Enzrud presented. Uh, I'm going to open the assignment, two trait Punnett squares. So when I click on that, the PDF opens up, I can see it here, but I can't really do anything. When I move my finger around on this, it just moves the PDF. It doesn't let me write on it. So that's where the app Notability comes in. So in order to, to write on this assignment, just like it's a worksheet, I have to share this PDF with Notability. So I'm gonna start uh, by clicking in the upper right-hand corner of the little share button. That share button is gonna let me share this PDF to Notability. So I gotta find Notability. Now, if it's not in here, what you want to do, do is choose more, and more will let you um, add other um, quick apps uh, so that you can share um, to those apps. But I do have Notability right here. I'm going to click Copy to Notability. That opens up um, the Notability app. Here I see a couple options. Um, add to Punnett Square Practice, Create New Note, or Add to Another Note. I want to create a new note because um, this is a whole individual assignment. So I'm going to Create New Note. Again, more options. I want to make sure I import all pages. So all pages is selected down there. So I'm going to go ahead and choose the import button in the top right-hand corner. Okay, so here's my assignment. I'm going to choose a pen. Make sure the I don't have a real thick pen, but something that's nice and easy to write with. I can either zoom in by pinching and zooming, or I can use this little magnification box down here. Um, when I use the magnification box, I can just go ahead and write in this big screen right here. So I got a cross here, a big R, and a big R, and a little R, and a little R. Another way to do this is just go ahead and zoom way in. And here I got a big Y, and a big Y, and a little Y, and a little Y. Okay, so big Y, little Y, big Y, little Y. All right, so... I'm going to pretend like this assignment, like I'm all done with it. And so what I want to do now is turn it in. I have to submit it back to Schoology so I can get credit for it. So in order to do that, I have to use the share button in from Notability to send it back to Schoology. The share button is in the top left-hand corner of the little box with an arrow. So I choose that share button. And I notice that there's no Schoology in this list. So I'm going to go ahead and choose other apps down below. Now right here, I wanna make sure that the format is PDF. So there are several options for format, but I wanna make sure it is PDF because that works well with Schoology. The other one's not so great. So leave it as PDF, that is the default. Go ahead and go down to the bottom and choose Share Note. Again, I have to find Schoology. It's gonna send it back over to Schoology. Now I have two options, Submit to Assignment or Add to My Resources. My Resources is my own personal little cloud folder built into Schoology. I do not want to choose that. I want to I want to turn this in. So I'm going to submit to assignment. I got to find the right class. And then I find the right assignment. This was week two, assignment two. Go ahead and choose upload. Don't tap the screen until it's done uploading. Otherwise, that'll cancel it. Now my submission has been added. Now I want to show you how to make sure your assignment actually got turned in and how to see your score and feedback from your teacher. So I'm gonna go ahead and choose the back arrow here. Um, and notice where I had on the top here, there's two tabs, info and submission. So info is where I got the information and the assignment, but submissions is where I'm gonna see uh, the work I've done. So when I click on submissions, I see my score. So my teacher graded it, I got a score of seven out of 10. Well, because I didn't complete my assignment. Notice the, the note there from my teacher says, complete your assignment. It tells me uh, how many revisions I've made, so how many different times I've submitted this assignment, and it tells me when I submitted the assignment. Um, but even better than that, I can click on the assignment, 
and any notes or information that the teacher gave me about the assignment, I can see now. So the teacher marked uh, one, two, and three wrong because I didn't turn anything in. I got a circle uh, around that first cross because I didn't complete it. And I also got a little note here. So I'm going to click on the note and I get a posted note, information from my teacher. The multiplication rule will combine the genotypes for the two traits together. For this problem, the genotype will be 100%, big R, little r, big Y, little y. All right, so now you know how to open an assignment from Schoology into Notability, how to complete that assignment and submit it, turn it back in, and how to get feedback from your teacher. I hope this was helpful.